Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man ihtada bi huda. The 41st chapter is about duha prayer and there are seven hadiths in it. What is duha prayer? It's a form of a voluntary prayer offered after the sun rises by 10 to 15 minutes and the time extends to about 10 maybe five minutes before the adhan before the zawal before the adhan of dhuhr and the virtues of it are great and the recommendations of the prophet to perform it are many so muadah may allah have mercy on her soul says that she asked mother aisha May Allah be pleased with her. Did the Prophet والسلام, uh, perform the duha prayer, the mid-morning uh, prayer? And she said, yes. Four units and he used to add whatever Allah wished. Meaning, he used to pray four, sometimes six, sometimes eight. Whatever Allah Azza wa Jal allows him to offer, he would do that. So the sky is the limit. And as Ibn Malik says that... The Prophet ﷺ used to perform duha prayer in six units. Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Layla, he said that I've never heard anyone mention seeing the Prophet ﷺ performing the duha prayer except Um Hani, the cousin of the Prophet ﷺ. She said that uh, um, the Prophet of Allah والسلام, entered her house on the day of the conquest of Mecca, whereupon he performed the major ritual ablution. He took ghusl and glorified Allah in eight units. She says, I've never seen him وسلم, perform uh, uh, a prayer in a more abbreviated form than that. So he was quick in him even though he completed the rukur and the sujood. So his, per, his prayer was perfect, but it was not his usual format. It was quick. So now we have four, we have six, we have eight. Abdullah ibn Shaqiq, may Allah have mercy on his soul, said, I said to Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Um, I, or I asked Aisha, was the Prophet, alayhi salatu was salam, was he used to performing the duha prayer, she says, no, except when he was coming back from a travel, when he traveled and came back from travel. Abu Ayyub al-Ansari, may Allah be pleased with him. He says that the Prophet of Allah used to devote himself for four units of duha prayer. So I said, O Prophet of Allah, you devote yourself to these four units at high noon and he explained the gates of heaven are opened at high noon then they are unlocked until the midday ritual prayer is performed so i love to have a good deed ascend on my behalf during that time abu ayub said is there quranic recitation in each of them and these four units the prophet said I them, yes i said do they contain separating salutation of peace? And, and he said, no. And in another chain reporters, a similar narration. Abdullah ibn Sa'ib, may Allah be pleased with him, said that the Prophet of Allah used to perform four cycles or four units of uh, prayer after the sun had passed its zenith before the noon prayer and he said it's a time in which the gates of heaven are opened so i love to have a righteous deed ascend for me 
then. And Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, he used to perform four cycles of, um, or four units of prayer before noon, before dhuhr. And he mentioned that the Prophet of Allah used to perform them at the time of the sun's zenith and he used to prolong them. So Salat al-Duha is highly recommended. And the format is minimum two, as in the hadiths where the Prophet said every single day there are 360 joints in a man's body and he has to give charity for each joint. So whatever you say of goodness, of teaching people, enforcing virtue and righteousness and preventing vice and evil, helping your brother uh, to fill up his bucket or to carry something or to guide someone, all of these are forms of charity. And to sum all of these charities of the 360 joints up, two rak'ahs of duha suffice you. And only the awab, those who mention Allah Azza wa Jal frequently would observe such rich, uh, such a prayer. So the Prophet used to pray them two, four, six, maybe eight, and the sky's the limit. And those who said that the Prophet did not pray them, they mentioned it according to their understanding at that specific time. So when Aisha was asked, she said, yes, the Prophet used to pray for. Sometimes she was asked, she said, no, she, he did not pray them, meaning that he did not maintain praying them. Why? We know that the Prophet ﷺ used to do things consistently. And he would not randomly do things and leave them. So the scholars said that the Prophet ﷺ did not or was not consistent in praying duha because he was afraid that it would become mandatory upon his ummah. So he decided not to do it all the time. Nevertheless, his recommendations to his ummah to continuously do it and the high uh, reward in it meant that it is a highly recommended sunnah that should not be abandoned. Why? Some scholars said that it's best to do it on and off. But this is not the most authentic opinion. The most authentic opinion is that you should do it every single day if you're able to do it, because this is a source of income, means of getting Allah's pleasure and reward. As for those who classified it as an innovation among the scholars, they said that it is an innovation to offer it in the masjid every single day, not in your house because it's a means of showing off, because it's not something that the Prophet recommended to be done in the masjid. So this is why those who classified it as innovation, they were referring to praying it in the masjid. And out of the vast majority of scholars and companions, only bin Umar ibn Mas'ud did not approve of it to be prayed all the time, but the vast majority of companions reported and narrated that this was a highly recommended sunnah, both done by the Prophet ﷺ and recommended by him alayhi as salatu was salam. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah